this recording this week, what are some of the must-see stock charts? I brought five of them, and you, you'll know right away why these are must-see, so let's dive right in. The first must-see stock chart is Yeti, ticker Y-E-T-I. It's still hot. It's busting out to new all-time highs here, and as you can see, it's got a great earning surprise track record. No misses, including during the pandemic quarters, which is impressive. Not all companies were still able to beat during all those rocky months. So it's got everything going for it, but trading at 40 times forward earnings here, is that too hot to handle? Is it too expensive here? We will see. Then we're going to switch over to one of the big pandemic winners as well, May, uh, Wayfair, ticker W. And they too have put together a great earning surprise track record with those huge beats the last four quarters, all because it's a pandemic winner and we were rushing out and we were buying everything from the house from, you know, you know, bread makers to desks and desk chairs. But that has kind of faded now. But how much has it faded? Everybody who's reported so far on the furniture side has said that the consumer is still nesting. So I could, we could still see some good numbers here from Wayfair, but trading at 56 times forward earnings now, I think the street is just wondering, you know, was that as good as it gets and why am I paying this much for the shares? But uh, they um, could be a big surprise here based on what the other furniture companies have been doing. So we'll see if the shares can get a little bit of a boost off of this quarter or not. Then we're going to switch over to a company I don't think I've covered here on Earnings All-Stars before, Maztec, ticker MTZ. So this would be an infrastructure play. And you can see the shares busting out here in 2021, along with the great earnings surprise track record, no misses in five years. Super impressive on both regards. And the shares aren't that expensive, trading at 18 times because they have pulled down uh, off those highs quite a bit here. So could this be a buying opportunity in all the infrastructure stocks? It looks like we may get that trillion dollar infrastructure plan finally that everybody's been waiting years to get. And if that comes to fruition, these shares could have some more uh, momentum you know, being put in uh, any of these infrastructure plays. But this is one reporting this week. So tune into that conference call see what's going on but this is an interesting play here going into the back half of 2021. then we're going to talk about square so this has been on everybody's radar this week as they announced they're buying afterpay um, that's a big deal because both like monetarily and just what it might do for square because anybody who's used any kind of retail site knows that afterpay is on that site and it has made consumers um, able to buy more items than they otherwise might have been able to buy before without putting it on their credit card. So uh, Square is going to be an interesting one. It has been a pandemic play. It's posted four big beats in a row. It's got this great earnings surprise track record with just that one miss right when the pandemic hit. So everybody's going to be watching this one. It is one of the hotter stocks on the street. No, it's not cheap at all, trading at 164 times. That's before the afterpay deal closes. And so it's got both valuation issues and we don't know what else, but um, maybe the street's going to, you know, just kind of blow off the valuation side of things because the growth is there. But we will see this earnings report is a must watch. Then we're going to end up with the restaurant side of things. So restaurants have been hot. This is the reopen play again, right? We all are going back into the Shake Shack stores. We want to eat in there. They are located in a lot of the big cities, big urban areas, as well as the hot tourist type of areas like a Las Vegas, um, like a downtown Chicago, um, so and London as well. So this is kind of a reopen play stronger than maybe some of the other restaurant chains are. They have put a good track record together here with just that one miss during the pandemic there in 2020. But my complaint with Shake Shack always has been 
that the growth is coming from opening up new restaurants, which they do continue to do even during the pandemic, instead of actually growing the underlying sales at their old restaurants. That's kind of a different model than we see with anyone else. So Chipotle is able to grow those same store sales at double digits, um, even over 2019 sales before the pandemic. But Shake Shack's never done the double digits. It's actually gone the other way. So that's always been one of my concerns with Shake Shack. Um, but we'll see what they report this quarter and how strong the rebound is with some of those older stores, especially in places like New York City, it's you know original locations where it's always done a lot better. So this is one to watch on the restaurant side this week, Shake Shack, S-H-A-K. So there's a lot of different sectors and industries reporting this week. It's not all just tech and it's a lot of hot areas as well. So open up your mindset and look beyond tech because you might be surprised at what's happening in some of these other must-see charts. And as always, I'm going to be bringing you these kind of hidden uh, gems and you know big earnings all-stars all earnings season long. So be sure to get our stocks videos and all of our charts. You can get them on Zax.com, of course, but you can also get them on the Twitter feed and on my stock twits feed, I'm going to be tweeting out a lot of these earnings all-star charts, including the ones that can't make it onto the videos. So get those and as well, get all of our videos on zax.com slash YouTube. And I'll see you again next time with some more earnings charts.